After the Matrix's surprise return to pop culture, many websites and YouTube channels are now talking about the plot holes found in the film, the supposed mistakes that destroy the plot and that fans have opted to ignore. Is the Matrix full of inconsistencies and contradictions, or is it that these critics don't take the time to look for the answers themselves? Welcome to Matrix Explained. The desert of the real. Let's first talk about the most common Matrix plot hole, one that has been parodied in TV shows and movies. This has been repeated over and over again as a plot inconsistency that resulted in the entire franchise being dismissed and regarded as absurd. There are rumors that at one point, the Wachowskis wanted the humans to be used as CPUs instead of batteries, but some have claimed the information to be heresy. Is the idea that humans are batteries absurd? The human body generates more bioelectricity than a 120 volt battery and over 25,000 BTUs of body heat. Combined with a form of fusion, the machines had found all the energy they would ever need. The Matrix is a computer generated dream world built to keep us under control in order to change a human being into this. Morpheus clearly explains that a type of fusion is used. In other words, the human body is the equivalent of a car battery. The battery gives the jump of electricity needed to make a spark and start the car, but it is not what gives the car its electricity. It's a combination of the battery and other parts of the engine. In the original script, Morpheus explains better what the humans are used for. Morpheus, the machines discovered a new form of fusion all they needed was a small electrical charge to initiate the reaction. Note that Morpheus says that the machines only needed a small charge of energy. This confirms the theory that the humans are the spark. The next plot hole is, why did the machines create the Matrix when they could just put the humans in a coma? The architect spoke of the Oracle's initial purpose. An intuitive program, initially created to investigate certain aspects of the human psyche. If I am the father of the Matrix, she would undoubtedly be its mother. As he explained, the Oracle was created to study certain aspects of the human psyche and the Matrix is the place to study them. The humans are in a simulation because the machines are interested in learning more about their creators, to enslave them or to perfect themselves or for some other unknown reason. The Matrix canon makes it clear that there are programs whose purpose is to learn and understand humans. How could they study the human condition if they are all comatose? The next supposed plot hole is when Morpheus mentions that the agents can be anyone in the Matrix. That means that anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone and they are no one. Yet the agents do not possess any red pills in the simulation, which many people have described as an inconsistent use of the agent's ability. But there is an explanation for this supposed plot hole. The red pills enter the matrix using a pirated signal. They are not connected to the simulation from pods. The red pills are not part of the system, so they cannot be possessed by agents unless they are directly infected like what happened to Bane. However, this may be an exclusive ability for Smith since he was not an agent. He was a virus. Next, we have the question, how do the red pills get hurt in the real world when they get hurt in the matrix? This supposed plot hole is described as illogical and without explanation because how could a human suffer internal damage from being connected basically to a video game? This supposed plot hole is ignored by us, the fans, for several reasons. One of them is the nature of the humans in the Matrix. There are two types of humans, the hybrids, those created by the machines, which are half machine and half human, and the humans, those born through natural reproductive means in Zion. The hybrid's brain is not the same as a human's, neither is the rest of their body. They have ports for cables all over their body to transfer power and for the machines to regulate their bodies. Part of a hybrid's brain is robotic. This is how the machines can connect them to the simulation. Notice when Neo gets shot in the Matrix. In the real world, his body reacts as if he was being shot. He bleeds from his mouth. He is suffering internal hemorrhaging. 
Neo's body is not sprouting bullet holes, but the mechanical parts inside his body are imitating the sort of damage his body would endure internally if he was shot and where he was shot. But how and why does this happen? Simple. The humans who die in the Matrix must also die in their pods, so they do not wake up in the real world alive. Therefore, each red pill has an internal system that will kill them if and when they die in the simulation. In Kid's special case, he managed to separate his mind from his residual self-image. So far, he has been the only blue pill to survive the death of their residual self-image and woken up in the real world. So yes, there are explanations as to why and how red pills get hurt or even die in the real world if they are hurt or killed in the simulation. Other common supposed plot holes are... Why do the machines allow the humans escape from the Matrix and travel to Zion? Or how the agents are susceptible to damage? Or how can the Oracle help the humans without intervention from the Architect? The Architect mentioned that everything that happens is part of his system of control. The machines allow the growth of Zion because it's needed to keep the anomaly under control. Agents are susceptible to attack for the same reason. Neo is in a theater play, a facade. And everything that happens, happens because the machines want it that way. If the agents were immortal, Neo could not become the anomaly and serve his purpose. Worse, wondering why the machines allow certain things to happen. By studying in depth some of these plot holes, we realize that the answers are there, but they aren't easy to find. Some are buried deep within philosophical metaphors and religious symbolism. Barely anybody takes the time to read between the lines. Some just can't understand them, period. Though there is one question that eludes even us. We have tried to explain this argumentative gap in the plot. The mystery of the golden light. How can Neo see after he has blinded? Why can't he see Smith, the machines, and Machine City as a yellow light? How is it that Deus Ex Machina uses that yellow code and he uses Neo like a lightning rod to spread the code inside the Matrix and thus destroy Smith? The golden light is not a plot hole, but the Matrix's biggest mystery. But do you agree? What other plot holes do you believe exist in the Matrix trilogy? Tired of your cookies not coming out as you want them to? That they don't taste like how your mother used to make them in her kitchen when you were a kid? Well, we have the solution for you. Introducing Oracle's Cookies. Made only with the best ingredients and benevolent intentions. <laughs> Oracle's Cookies will make you feel like you're the only one who can save the world. So don't delay. Pick up the phone and order now. There is absolutely positively nothing suspicious about Oracle's cookies. If you can't trust this face, who can you trust? Take a cookie. I promise by the time you're done eating it, you'll feel right as rain. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.